Alright. Hi fellow YouTubers. It's me, Sakura Yuki here, and I'm going to show you, for those of you who have the program and not know how to use it, I am going to show you how to use Home Video Maker 7. All right, the quality might be a little horrid, but I do not know for sure. This is the mouse. <laughs> Sorry, I just think this is kind of fun. Hang on, so you can see all the computer. Probably won't be able to, but mm, it's worth a try. All right, first you go down to the start. Well, at least this is what I do. Down to the start, open up your start menu. Then go to all programs, and then you should see NTI Home Video Maker. And it should have Home Video Maker right there. Click. Something like this will show up at first. What do you click on? I, otherwise, like the first time I used this, I clicked on the exit right away and I didn't work. It didn't work. So what you have to click on to make your videos is capture, create, or edit your videos. It will load and this will come up. This you don't have to worry about. It says how would you like to acquire your media? Well, if you want to capture from a device you click on that if you want to. If you want to get from an album, which is that stuff here, you can. But what I usually do is I exit it. So, this is what NTI Home Video Maker originally looks like. Let's see if I can center you guys a little bit. Back up just a little. I guess it's as good as I'm going to get it. Well, let's see here. There. Alright. Okay, so what you first have to do, this is your storyboard here. To change the storyboard from to the timeline, you click over here. Which is a storyboard, and then there's timeline. Click on timeline. I get this. You get this. Whatever. And let's see. What song should I have? I have a bunch in the album thing here, so I'll just pick one from here, maybe. Nah. Yeah. Alright. To upload anything, what you have to do, you have to go up to File. Of course, is in the corner here. Go down, there should be import files. Import media files to be exact. This comes up. However, this is not where I want to be. So, what you're going to do is for I have my music. Go the easy way. And I can choose from any selection here. Okay, let's pick Diary of Jane later. I already have that one so let's see. The game, I like that I like this song. Might not like all of Disturbs stuff, but I like some of them. So, as you can see, here is your main video previewing, previewing, sorry, area. This is a picture I made for my videos, by the way. I just thought I'd show it. Actually put that at the beginning. 
What do you have to do? For pictures, all you have to do is click on them and shorten them if you need to. And lengthen them. Like this. Take your cursor until this sh little blue lines show up with arrows. Shorten them. Let's see. There we go. Now to get your media, there is main selection stuff here. You click on media, which I already have it set to that. So, let's see, Bikini. I have episodes here, so let's just pick some off. Let's see. For this, this won't originally happen the first time around when you upload or, you know, import stuff like these episodes onto the program itself. What it originally does, well, you do the normal thing, look for media files from file from up here. And then what you do, it says import it and then the program itself realizes that it's something that needs to be broken down because it's so long. And what will come up, I'm pretty sure, is a little box saying, would you like this broken up or however it says it. And you click on yes and it gets like this. Like this here. It's a little sections of the episode itself. Let's see. Let's start with these ones. That one's long enough, I guess. You exit that. Now, what you have to do to mute, you don't do it like Sony Vegas and go like this and group and stuff. What you do, which it does get a little irritating, you have to mute the volume here. And what happens, let's go to the beginning of the movie. Actually, let's do this movie here. Let's say that cursor there is, well, there. <laughs> what you have to do, this is a bit irritating here too. Here it says active clip. Here it says entire project. What you do is entire project and click here. And that takes you to back to the entire project. But, if you're there and you just want to go back to the active clip, click on active clip and go like that. And it takes you to the beginning of that one clip you just put in. Okay. Let's see here. What I usually do is I test the video while I'm working it just to make sure I have the right timing and other stuff like that. That does get a little irrit irritating sometimes too, but it's worth it. Honestly, it is. So, click on play. See? And that video will show up here. Like that. Now, it's really cool if you have flashes, but as you can see, here, go effects first. Here's the effects. And here are the main selections for effects. There is filters, orientation, TV, crop, banners, and fun frame. Now, it doesn't have it in either of them. I'll show you. 